The King of Moor, written by Lizbeth Stone, illustrated by Scott Lewis Broom. Beware! This is the tale of the king who has everything but the one thing he needs most of all. What he needs cannot be bought, what he needs cannot be demanded, what he needs cannot be ordered. So hold on to your seats and cover your ears. The king yells very loudly, for this story is about to begin. Bring me more! I demand more! More chocolates! More cookies! More muffins! I order the boxes to be stacked to the chandeliers! Yells the king. I beg your forgiveness, your royalness, but we are bringing the boxes as fast as the bakers can bake, replied the footman. Bring me more! I demand more! More colors! More styles! Shoes with more jewels! Yelled the king. Your Highness, my sincerest apologies. The shoemaker simply cannot make shoes as fast as you have requested. He has employed all the townspeople to help fill your order, but he still remains behind, replied the footman. Bring me more! I demand more! More landscapes! More portraits! More abstracts! Have them to the rafters! There is bare wall to be filled! yelled the king. Your greatness, we do regretfully report that all the kingdom's artists have been commissioned. They simply cannot paint as fast as you have requested, replied the footman. This is how the story went until one day, Sam, the son of the first footman, happened upon the scene. More, 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 more! Do you not hear me? yelled the king. Yes, king, your regalness, we do loudly hear you, but the kingdom has run out of honey for your breakfast scones. We have the bee charmer working as fast as he can to get the bees to make more for you, replied the footman. On the table sat more honey than the entire kingdom eats in a single year. The boy did not understand why one king needed more honey. So the boy decided to ask the king a question. King, I notice you like a lot of honey. How are you going to eat all of that honey for breakfast? Asked the boy. The king howled at Sam. Who are you? And how dare you ask the king such a question? I am Sam. I am sorry to bother you, but my mother taught me to put on my plate only what I am able to eat. She does not like it when I waste food, replied Sam. Waste? The king of Moor does not waste. The footmen bring in what I order and then they take it all away. It is my duty to order them to do so. It was the duty of my father, his father, and his father's father before him, proclaimed the king. So the boy bowed to the king and left. But he left the king with a feeling he had never felt before. A feeling in the bottom of his stomach. A feeling that kept him from eating any of his breakfast. The very next day, Sam was in the royal garden, kicking his ball when he overheard a loud rumbling coming from the rose garden. More! More roses! I demand more red roses, more yellow roses, more peach roses! Yelled the king. Your loftiness, we dislike this pleasing you, but we have unfortunately ran out of space in the garden for any more roses to be planted, replied the gardener. Run out of space, then I order more space, yelled the king. King, I am sorry to interrupt, but I heard yelling, said Sam. Is everything okay? Okay, okay, the king of Moor has been told that he has run out of space. I am most definitely not okay, growled the king. The rose garden has more space than the rest of the entire kingdom. The boy didn't understand why one king needed more. So the boy decided to ask the king a question. K 
King, I noticed that you like a very big rose garden. How are you going to smell all of those roses? Asked Sam. How dare a child ask the king such a question? Scoffed the king. So the boy bowed to the king and left. Once again, the king of Moor was left with a feeling in the bottom of his stomach. But this time, the feeling was bigger, and it did not go away. The king spent the entire day trying to get the strange feeling to go away. He ordered the royal hairdressers to style his hair. That didn't work. He ordered the royal musicians to play a song for him. That didn't work. He ordered the royal dogs to perform for him. That didn't work. He even ordered 1,000 pizzas. That didn't work either. The King of Moor tried one last thing. I demand the boy named Sam, yelled the king. King, how may I help you? Sam asked as he was led into the grand hall. I have a strange feeling in my stomach, a feeling so strange I know not what it is and I do not know how to make it go away. I order you to take it away, commanded the king. King, before I can help, you must tell me what it feels like, said Sam. Well, it feels like someone has blown up a balloon in my stomach. It feels as if I am full. It feels as if I am satisfied, said the king. King, I do know that feeling in your stomach. I know that feeling very well. That is the feeling of enough, said Sam. Enough, enough, the king... Of more, his father and his father's father before him had never experienced such a strange feeling. I like this new feeling. I like it a lot, smiled the king. From that day on, the king of more only ordered what one king could eat, what one king could use, and what one king could enjoy. I demand, I demand the rest to be shared, yelled the king. And so, the king of Moor reigned as the most generous king to have ever sat on the throne. In the end, the king found the two things he, he needed most of all. A true friend in Sam, and that very special feeling of having enough. Enough! Enough said! <laughs>